Good afternoon. Welcome to Jim Monley's World of Weather. Clicked on to long range weather forecast discussion for July 14th to the 26th. And for the period July 14th to the 18th, this is what we're expecting. We have a trough here over the northwest parts of Canada, Northeast Pacific. And we have a broad ridge across much of the nation with the progressive flow to the north. Now we're going to talk about Barry. Here's the current position now, and let me see. Bear with it. Here's the current position. Oh, it didn't update. Okay, let's see. Okay, here, here's the current uh, position here. This is uh, Barry now, and what is this forecast to do is drift west or northwestward, and will it's forecast to come into the Louisiana coast. Now, some of the models have shifted a little eastward, but we all have... Um, Hurricane watches, tropic storm watches, storm surge watches here across much of this region. Now, um, there's there's a large spread in the models, and I'm going to go through that. We're going to look at the GFS first. Here's the GFS. This is uh, 8 p.m. tonight. Then we're going to go 2 a.m. Friday, 2 p.m. Friday. Now we're going to look at the European. They're, they're fairly in good agreement. Then we're going to go to Saturday, 2 a.m. And you can see the heaviest rain stays off the coast until we get to possibly... Uh, 2 p.m. on Saturday, the heaviest rain began to move on shore. Then we go to Sunday. This is 8 a.m. System is inland. And then it should quickly weaken to uh, a depression. Now we're going to take a look at the uh, rainfall models. This is the... Um, the NAM. This is the NAM uh, WRF simulated radar, and you can see this. This is for Friday, and I'm gonna go to the next frame, and you can see now. I'm gonna uh, let me see. We're gonna, I'm going to step it through. Still the heaviest rain remain over the Gulf. Until we get to Friday. At 36 hours from now, Friday. Then the heaviest rain start moving in as the system starts moving inland. So it's, it's forecast to move in on Friday night. Now, um, let's see. Here's the current satellite picture. You can see uh, low level circulation. And let me see if I can get. I'm going to try to see if I. Okay, well, this is good enough. Um, this is a satellite picture, Ghosts. 
uh, Go 17 satellite picture of the makeup. Now, um, what else? Now, the storm is forecast to uh, slowly move northward and interact with the westerlies. And that might be, again, to interact with the, with the flow. So we're going to go forward in time. And it kind of moves to the Great Lakes area and moves eastward. That's the GFS. And then we look at the European. As it dissipates here, it kind of moves, the European kind of moves it further to the south into the Middle Atlantic region by Thursday with heavy rain. Okay, um, the remnants should produce heavy rain from the lower Mississippi Valley to the southern Middle Atlantic, to the southern Mid uh, Mississippi Valley, and a strong flow to the south of an upper low tracking across. The Gulf of Alaska will reach the northwest and help push a trough near the west coast. And we'll have episodes of showers and thunderstorms from the northern states as a series of fronts drop through the area. And locations from the northern plains to upper Great Lakes will receive the heaviest rainfall. Okay, we're going to look now at the period for July 17th to 21st. The flow remains unchanged. Generally expecting a trough here across this area you can see, and we have this broad ridge across much of the nation with above Noma Heights. So miles of good agreement. So for this forecast period, I'm forecasting above normal temperatures for much of the nation, and I'm forecasting anomalies of four degrees above normal, a little area below normal temperatures here of two to four degrees below normal across this region. And for precipitation, calling for above normal precipitation here and for this region. And the probability of occurrence is 35 to 40%. That's wrong. It should be closer to maybe 55%. I have to change it when I put it on the website. Closer to 45%. I mean 55%. And then we have below normal precipitation here and along the East Coast. And the probability of currents is 35%. And then we look to um, the period for July 26th, 22nd to 26. Most of the models are indicating a broad ridge across much of the nation with above normal heights. The northern flow or progressive westerlies remain across the north. But some of the models you can see here indicate a trough over the northeast, as as does I think I saw this model over the east. This is the European ensembles, yep, and above normal heights elsewhere. So I think this is the outlier. So for this forecast period, forecasting above normal temperature for much of the nation, and I'm forecasting anomalies of two to four degrees above normal. And for precipitation, calling for above normal precipitation here. And for this region, probability of occurrence is 35 to 40%. And then below normal precipitation here. And for New England and for Florida. And the probability of occurrence is 35%. That's the long range weather forecast discussion for July 14th to 26th. Thanks for coming to Jim Lee's World of Weather and have a good day.